you guys, it's Ben here at Vape Extreme. Um, coming to you with a how-to video. Um, I know I'm not the most experienced vapor, but I'm going to kind of give you a rundown on dripping and kind of my outtake on it. Um, I've seen a lot of guys on YouTube uh, doing reviews, especially juice reviews and stuff like that. But I've seen guys that are dripping into atomizers and they're putting like 13, 14 drops in it. I don't understand it. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the atomizers that they're using or... I don't know if they think it lasts longer, but I find that if you put any more than three drops into an atomizer, it floods, it gets gurgly, and you're sucking e-juice into your mouth all the time. Um, and you can generally tell if you flood an atomizer is when you take a drag and you exhale and there's no vapor. Um, and it's gurgly, it's almost bubbly, you can hear it bubbling. Um, so I'm actually going to do a review on a mod uh, that I received from Sebastian at the CEV store. Um, they are a Canadian vendor by the way guys, which is fantastic. Um, but this is kind of the next step that you can take from vaping. Of course, a lot of you guys uh, probably started off with your standard e-cig kits, and even still to this day, I do use this every once in a while when I go out. Um, but in most cases, I'm you know, I'm either using a mod or um, this 50 cal mod or mod now. Um, <clears throat> now, basically, what you're going to get is a Joytech box like so, and you'll also get this one as well. Now inside that box you will receive a 1000 milliamp hour Joytech battery um, and it is an actual Joytech battery. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. Now the nice part about this mod is you can actually if you have an Ego charger you can charge it like a standard Ego. Um, but the other nice thing is it has a pass-through on the bottom. Now because I'm doing this video for newer vapors I'm going to try and keep the terminology as simplistic as possible and I'll explain it as I go. Um, a pass-through by definition is basically <coughs> this is the charging charging cord sorry guys that you get with it. It's just basically a standard USB cord um, so you can actually plug this into the bottom, plug it into your wall outlet, plug it into your PC. Um, if you've got a, a USB car charger, you can plug it into your car charger and you can vape it while it's charging. Um, where on most of your standard Ego batteries, um, you can't vape it while it charges, obviously, because you have to take it apart because your charger goes into there. Um, so yeah. So, with this kit, um, or sorry, in the other box, uh, the smaller box that you have here, um, comes your Joytech Low Res, which is awesome, atomizer, 510 connection of course, so you just thread your atomizer on like so, drip tip, it's a nice chrome drip, drip tip, feels very comfortable in your mouth, that's what she said. I don't know why everyone's doing that, but that's what she said. But I figured we might as well throw my punt in. Um, now the Joytech battery has the five click protection. Five clicks off. Five clicks on. So now it's firing. Now it won't fire. So if it's in your pocket, you don't have to worry about it burning your atomizer up, which I've had that happen before. So there we go, we're back into action. So, juice I'm going to be using is a rum tobacco. Very nice juice, by the way, guys. If you're uh, looking at uh, ordering in a kit, um, I definitely recommend ordering the, uh, the rum tobacco from CEV. Uh, this one here is in an 18 milligram strength. So basically, dripping. Okay, this is very... It's a very easy process, but a lot of people um, over drip. Okay, so dripping into a atomizer, one, two. That's it. Two drops. That's all you need. 
give it a quick blow just in case the juice uh, cools at the bottom there and then just vape on it. Very nice. Um, now generally out of two drops you'll probably get five decent good vapes out of it. Okay, so there's one. There's two. There's three. At three, still lots of flavor, still phenomenal throat hit, lots of vapor. Four, still there. About number five, you start to notice a little bit of change in taste. Um, it's almost tasting burnt is, is kind of the, the easiest way to explain it. Um, just for the sacrifice of this review. Yeah. Oh, not awesome. Um, generally about the sixth one, you're, you're going to be getting a really nasty burnt taste. Um, so yeah. Dripping is not as complicated as some people are are getting out of it. Um, I know when I first, very first started into uh, into e-cigs, um, and I got my first ego mod, I had the same problem. I was either over dripping or under dripping. You know, I'm watching reviews trying to figure out how to do it. One guy's doing it one way, one guy's doing it the other. Um, generally, in most cases, and a lot of reviewers that I've noticed so far are sticking with the same plane, you know, two to three drops max. Any more than that and it's just going to be, it's just going to be unpleasant. Um, you know, you're, you're going to be blowing your atomizers out all the time and so on and so forth. So just keep that in mind. Two to three drops, that's all you need. Um, now, the next thing is, is that if somebody happens to over drip on an atomizer, um, it's not the end of the world. It's actually very easy. All you're going to do is unthread your atomizer, grab a paper towel. If you're into e-cigs or you're a vapor at all, you always got a paper towel or a Kleenex. Place it with the atomizer like so, and then just blow in it. Now. I didn't over drip at all, but that's basically what's going to happen. All you're going to do is just blow the e-juice out the bottom. It, it's it's pretty simplistic. After you blow it out, give it one quick vape. Um, it'll probably be burny, but just give it a quick vape just to make sure that you got the majority of the e-juice out. And then start all over again. Two drops, guys. Two. That's all you need. Um, so anyway, the 50 cal mod at the CEV store um, is a great next step. Um, because it's giving you a much larger battery life with a thousand milliamp hour battery. Um, the low res 510 Joytech atomizers are phenomenal. They work really, really well. Um, I've got probably five or six of them myself that I use on a regular basis. They're, they're really nice atomizers. And this drip tip is uh, kind of completes it. Uh, it's actually a really nice look. Um, it does kind of give it that 50 cal uh, bullet style looking to it. Um, and like I said, it's a standard Ego battery, so, you know, let's say, for example, you want to throw a cone on it just to kind of complete the look a little bit more to hide those threads. Shabam. Done. And that's, uh, that's a nice little vaping mod right there. So because I blew my atomizer out, we're going to put two more drops in, give it a quick blow just to be on the safe side, and vape it. fantastic. So anyway guys, CEV store, uh, this kit retails for $44.95 uh, on their site. Um, <clears throat> they carry a lot of neat stuff. Um, they kind of they kind of give you a, a, all levels of vaping. Well, pretty close to all levels of vaping. They've got their starter 510 kits, they've got their Ego kits and their mods uh, with the 50 cals. 
Um, they've got a bunch of accessories. It's phenomenal pricing. Like I've mentioned before, guys, they're a Canadian vendor, so again, thumbs up. Um, they carry a full line of juices, and they carry more than one line, which is nice. Um, but yeah, uh, 4495 guys, you can't go wrong. It's a it's a phenomenal mod. They come in uh, stainless steel or black, like your uh, regular uh, Ego batteries. Um, so yeah, guys, if you're uh, if you're looking for the next step in vaping, the 50 cal mod at the CEV store. Definitely check it out, guys. As always, keep on vaping.